one. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Another day, another podcast. Hello, everybody. Puff and Steph on your listening device. Thanks for being here with us. As it is hump day, we're halfway through this week. Amazing weather here in central PA. Steph would know because she's still down in Florida. You're missing some good stuff here. We're talking mid-70s, low 80s, sunny. This this past weekend was amazing, mid-70s both day and sunny. Wow, that weather doesn't happen when I'm there normally. No. We don't get a lot. <laughs> it was, it was, it's been amazing. So whatever you're doing in Florida with the humidity and the, you know, once a day rainstorm or whatever, have fun with it. It's actually been nice. Um, it does usually rain like randomly, but it's super quick, so it's not a big deal. So it is Wednesday, my friends, and that means another would you rather. Are you ready for this would you rather? I think this is a good one. I think this is a really good one. Ooh, okay, let's do it. All right. Would you rather be part of an arranged marriage or spend your whole life single? <gasps> oh, my gosh. When you, okay, initial thought. When you said, would you rather be part of an arranged marriage or I immediately thought whatever the second thing is, I'm picking it because I could never imagine mm. that. But then you said the second thing and I hate that too. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I feel like I would have to pick the arranged marriage because I'm a super like romantic, lovey person. So I would rather have something, even if it's not like 100% real, than just be alone forever. <laughs> you sound like a woman who's like in her 40s with a bunch of cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't sound good. <laughs> so I'd rather have something. It's better than nothing. I need a man. <laughs> so bad. Oh my God, I need a man. I don't even care who it is. I just need someone. Um, here's why I think arranged marriage wouldn't be all that bad for you. Is that you are like a super personable human being. Like you get along with everyone. Everyone likes you. There really isn't like you don't have one of those personalities that's off putting like in any way. So I, so I think that it would work out with you because there's no way whatever guy got arranged with you would be annoyed with anything. You know what I mean? Unless, unless God forbid he didn't like dogs. That's the only thing. Oh, then we'd be in trouble. But, but assuming he isn't the devil and he does, you know, like dogs. Um, I just don't see how it wouldn't eventually work out. The problem is, is like, is his personality going to fit you well you like his i don't think it's i don't think it's him liking you i think it's you liking him oh thank you well i just look at me and i go okay well i have a decent person because i you know obviously i knew i've known about this question for about a couple hours now so i've been kind of thinking about it myself and i thought i get along with people like i'm i'm very similar to you i'm a personal human being i don't think there's a ton of people out there who don't like me but I also have issues. I also have quirks. I also have things that, you know, the wife puts up with, but not everyone might like. Um, the fact that I really don't have a filter and I say whatever I want and I like, I just say what I want and see what happens. Right. Like I don't, I don't have I'm like, you know, if I say this, then these are going to be the consequences. Uh, no, I don't do that. I just go, blah, 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 blah. Deal with it, world. It just comes out. Yeah. And not everyone is going to like that. And I know that sometimes when I, the way I say certain things rubs people the wrong way. And I know this because it's happened with you. I've said certain things that you have not taken in the way that I've meant. Oh, yeah. And, and you were, like, worried about them. And you were upset about them. And you had to, like, call me or text me later in the day about them because it's been bothering you all day. Yep. Now you're a little bit of an overthinker, but that's not a bad thing. But I think it was more the way I did it than the way you perceived it. Right. Right. Yeah. But, but would you rather be with someone even though, it not, even though it might not be the best marriage ever or be alone forever? Like, well, I mean, do you, I mean, single is one thing, but can I still like hook up? Like, that's the nope. question. Wait, I got it. Nope. I just got to be alone. Can I have friends? I just, I have just made the official decision. No, you have to be alone. You can have friends, um, but no hookups, no kissing, no cuddling, nothing. Can I do that with my friends though? 
<laughs> oh, no, not permitted. That is not permitted. Get over here, Adam. Lonely. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I'm probably with you. I'm probably thinking arranged marriage and like just kind of see what happens. If they say, hey, this is the way you have to do it or you have to be single forever, I'm like, all right, show me the broad. <laughs> Give it a shot. Where's right? she at? Probably the best way to start the marriage isn't by calling her abroad. Probably I su- not. I suppose. So, all right. I think we're in agreement on that one. We're going to ask you on the Puff and Steph Facebook page, would you rather be part of an arranged marriage or spend your life as a single person? Father's Day is coming up. I'm looking at a survey of 2,000 American dads conducted by Omaha Steaks to find out which things a dad wants. Now, this is, I guess, is a little bit of a stump Steph thing. We're only going to ask you a couple of them. Um, it's not only... Uh, items. If you had to guess what a dad wants. Not just items. Things that he wants. Yeah. Okay, I got distracted because when you said Omaha Steaks, I thought you were saying Omaha State. Like, I thought this was like a legit study conducted by nope. a university. Omaha Steaks. <laughs> um, Beef people. Something to do with golf. A golf club membership. <laughs> Oh, a go- new golf club, something like that. That's a good one, but it's not on here. That's odd. That should be on there. I have, I have the top eleven here. Okay. What a, what about like a steak dinner? Yeah, you know, it's kind. Of, that would be obvious, right? A survey conducted by Omaha Steaks. You think? Juicy steak dinner came in at number two. And what a better way! Or there, there's no better way to do it than with Omaha Steaks. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that they didn't put that there at number two on purpose. <clears throat> right. They're like, well, number one is too obvious, so let's make it number two. Exactly. I'm on to I, you. I just, I'm, and I think this is the difference between mothers and fathers. On Mother's Days, you want to shower them with gifts, and, and the mom almost expects it a little bit. Flowers, candy, you know, dinner with the family. Right. The dads, like, their expectations are so low. They are so low. So don't, there's nothing crazy on here. Okay, so simple things. Like a new tool, something like lawnmower or some kind of tool. Um, they have like an expensive gift, like tech smartphone tool. So that's on there, sure. Some of the other ones on here, I just, like dads have such low expectations. And I think as a society, that's our fault. Because we don't treat Father's Day with the same respect that we treat Mother's Day. Number one was, what does dad want for Father's Day? An ice cold beer. Really? Oh. That's all dad wants. Uh. A glass of whiskey was number three. Here's what I'm getting my dad in the number four spot. Phone call. I knew you were going to say that. Darn it. Why didn't I think of that? (laughs) Peace and quiet was number five. Shut up. Let me enjoy my Sunday. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. Uh, Watching whatever he wants on TV. (laughs) Number eight could be the best answer in, in the whole list, though. What do you want for Father's Day, Dad? To be left alone. Oh, literally, that's what it says? Yes. Wow. <laughs> hey, they're being honest. To sleep in was number nine. Number 10, uh, sports back on TV. I think we can all agree with that. And a cheaper practical gift coming in at number 11, socks, things like that. Wow. See, yeah, I was putting way too much thought in, into this. I was thinking of like gifts, not like, hey, shut up, stupid kid. Hand me a beer and leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. And go, <laughs> go grill up one of those delicious Omaha steaks. <laughs> All right. Coming up in just a couple of minutes. Could the end be near? It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Everyone is going through something right now, and we're all in this together. That's why CBD American Shaman of PA is looking out for you and your health. During this trying time, CBD American Shaman of PA is focused on safety and the needs of their customers. That's why right now they're offering curbside pickup along with home deliveries. Let American Shaman help you manage these stressful times. To find out how to get high quality CBD products and a free bottle of Shaman cleansing gel without even leaving your car or home, visit HempisHealth.com. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. During this time, many are out of work and struggling just to get by. It's good to know that your friends at Capital City Buy and Sell in Harrisburg have your back. 
If you're in need of extra help during the pandemic, you can pawn or sell unwanted or unneeded items that you may have laying around your house, including jewelry, electronics, tools, musical instruments, and a whole lot more. Capital City Buy and Sell is open seven days a week, and they're always paying cash. Plus, they have low pawn interest and terms if you aren't quite ready to say goodbye to your item just yet. Capital City Buy and Sell, 3517 Walnut Street, Harrisburg. Online at harrisburgpapawn.com. Hey, honey, how are the taxes going? Pretty good. Let's see. We either get $800 back or we owe four grand. Hmm. I think we should call H&R Block. Let's face it, taxes can be confusing and the laws seem to change every year. Let the professionals at your local H&R Block take the worry out of your tax season. H&R Block in Dillsburg, Newville, Biglerville, Fairfield, and Gettysburg have been owned by the same family for over 50 years. And they've been there for every tax law change along the way. Don't leave money on the table. File your taxes confidently with H&R Block. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. So remember eight years ago when the whole Mayan calendar thing was was counting down and everyone thought 2012 was going to be the end of the year or end of the world? You remember? Oh, my gosh. I forgot about that. I was literally crying that day. I was so scared. Really? December 12th, 2012. 12, 12, 2012. You were crying? Yes. And I remember it because one of my friends was like studying abroad in Australia and my other friends played a trick on me or like some other country, I forget. And they played a trick on me and they were like, Jen's like gone, like Australia's gone. Like they, like as if the end of the world was coming like country by country, it freaked me out so much. So eight years ago, you were 17-ish, give or take? Yeah, yeah. And your friends played a trick on you by telling you your other friend was dead? Like yeah, that, they that said was their, that, gone. that was their trick telling you that Australia sank into the ocean and your friend was dead because yeah. the, because the Mayan calendar ended. Yeah, and I was sick to my stomach. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I wasn't ready. I had so many things I wanted to do still. Well, you were fine. You weren't in Australia. <laughs> but 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 the idea was that it was happening like country by like across the globe and it was coming towards us and we were going to die soon. Don't you think that that's something your teachers would have told you and they would have canceled school? <laughs> Probably. And you're just like, why? We're going to die. That's so close to Christmas, everyone. <laughs> it's so unfair. <laughs> it's so close to Christmas. <laughs> what are going to do? Exactly. Anyway, when that happened, the world didn't end. You want to know why? Apparently a math error. The scientist has taken the Mayan calendar, the Julian calendar, and the Gregorian calendar and recalculated that there was an 11-day per year mistake in the initial calculation. When you add up the days with the correct math, according to this, and I'm putting this in quotes for you who aren't watching this, scientist... If when you correct it, the real end of the world is Sunday, June 21st, 2020. That's no. this Sunday. <laughs> no, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Apparently, that's the... Re- and you know what? It, think about all the stuff going on in 2020. Is it that shocking if this would be it? No, stop it. Don't don't you encourage it. Stop it. I'm going to I'm I'm going to text you and like on Sunday and be like, "Hey, did you hear about Australia?" No, don't mess but, with me. Like your friend Margo's dead. <laughs> a- aliens came out from the from the from the heavens and just took her away. Just her. <laughs> no, seriously. This is something that like really it just it freaks me out a little. I don't fully believe it, but it kind of weirds me out. Hollywood is upset that they didn't have a chance to make a movie about it. Um, we're, we're, I, I'm going to go out on a limb, Steph. All right? This is my prediction, and I'm going to say we're going to be okay. You think so? Australia is not going to sink into the ocean. All of your friends will be okay. We will wake up to a beautiful sunrise Monday morning, okay? I hope so. Wait, did it give a time of when this is supposed to happen? <laughs> no, no. Just Sunday, June 21st. 2020. And do we have a cause? Like, is it just like no. the earth just going to explode or? No, <clears throat> no, no cause. Okay. That's the thing about these predictions. Nobody really gives a, 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 a way things happen. They just say that things are going to happen. Right. I need details, please. You're not getting it. No, <laughs> sorry. 
Why I'm okay with the, with, with the world ending? Check this out. A pair of shoppers were arrested last Thursday for misdemeanor battery after fighting over directional arrows on the floor of a Florida Goodwill store. Oh, no. They're at Tampa Goodwill. There's a woman who got into a confrontation with a man named Paul over the one-way floor directions due to COVID-19. Uh, she was upset with this guy going the wrong way in the aisle. During the ensuing argument, <laughs> she allegedly struck the guy about his body, head, and face. He responded by shoving her away. So here's the question, Steph. If a woman attacks first, is it okay for a guy to give her a little shove away? Not a punch, a hit, kick, nothing like that, but a little like, meh, like a little like, meh, get out of the way. Um, honestly... Yeah, it's self-defense, right? Yeah, like, I'm a, I'm a big believer in obviously don't hit women, like, at all. Except for, like, extreme circumstances, like, hey, that woman's drowning that baby over there. Okay, no, I'm going to go hit her and save that baby. Right. Right, right there's exceptions. But yeah. if it's a woman, like, <laughs> like, hitting me and stuff like that, and I just give her a little meh, I think I'm okay. Yeah, and it's self-defense. Like, you shouldn't just have to stand there and take it. You know, that's not right. Now, next question. They still have the arrows in this particular Goodwill up and down one-way street like they had a giant. Right. Um, would would your shopping habits cause fights? I don't think so. I like to think that I'm pretty, like, considerate and have good manners when I'm shopping. But didn't you get yelled at a couple of times while shopping? Oh, no, you're right. That one security guard at the New Cumberland Giant, he called us out three different times over the whole corona thing because we were, like, going the wrong direction. So people getting in fights over arrows on floor of a Goodwill store in Florida. The end is near. Wow, that's bad. I think Hi, Michael. <laughs> Yay! Michael he, makes an appearance. He, he made the podcast. Welcome home. He just got home from work. All right. <clears throat> so, last thing we're going to talk about here. Let's go back in time. We, we just went back to, to 2012. Let's go back five years uh, and talk about the challenge we were doing, the internet challenge, five years ago. Five years ago, Around this time, people were posting photos of themselves reaching one arm behind their backs and around their waists and toward their belly button to see if their fingers could touch their navel. Do you remember that? You go, no, no, no. You go around, no, around the back, like lower back. <laughs> right? Right? Do you remember this one? No, I don't remember this at all. This was a huge one. And it was like, nobody could do it unless you were like normally a girl or a guy with a skinny waist with long arms. Right. And they said, people were saying, a scientific study from from right here in the United States suggested that people who were able to reach their hand around their ba lower back and uh, you know and touch their navel were in shape while those who failed had to lose weight. So that was the thing. If you if you couldn't touch your navel around your back, you were screwed. I don't think I could do that in utero. I don't think I could do that ever. Right. No, it's not. I don't think it's happening for me. Like, can you get, nope. a, can you get around to your other waist? Okay. So I'm like this far from my belly button. Can I be in shape? Does that count? Whatever. Big fat fatty. <laughs> Seriously. That's so insulting for them to say that. Well, I do not remember that trend. The mysterious study has never seen the light of day it didn't exist somebody made it up shocking something on the internet wasn't true i don't believe that but you, believe it. but like you know what's gonna happen like over the last about eight years these internet trends have started popping up big time maybe even 10 we're gonna start these are gonna start popping up in our memories and news feeds time hops things like that and we're gonna be like we're so freaking stupid why did we do this we're yep. so dumb. Like, because for every ice bucket challenge that actually raised money for an amazing cause, there were stupid challenges where people were trying to lick their elbows or reach their arms behind their back to touch their belly button. For right. Every, for every good thing that, that there was, there was like 10 planks or T-bowing. Or eating Tide Pods. Or, <laughs> yeah, or eating Tide Pods. Coming up next, I'm curious... 
to see what kind of person Steph, Steph thinks she is. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Everyone is going through something right now, and we're all in this together. That's why CBD American Shaman of PA is looking out for you and your health. During this trying time, CBD American Shaman of PA is focused on safety and the needs of their customers. That's why right now they're offering curbside pickup along with home deliveries. Let American Shaman help you manage these stressful times. To find out how to get high quality CBD products and a free bottle of Shaman cleansing gel without even leaving your car or home, visit hempishealth.com. Quick Save Q- Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. During this time, many are out of work and struggling just to get by. It's good to know that your friends at Capital City Buy and Sell in Harrisburg have your back. If you're in need of extra help during the pandemic, you can pawn or sell unwanted or unneeded items that you may have laying around your house, including jewelry, electronics, tools, musical instruments, and a whole lot more. Capital City Buy and Sell is open seven days a week, and they're always paying cash. Plus, they have low pawn interest and terms if you aren't quite ready to say goodbye to your item just yet. Capital City Buy and Sell, 3517 Walnut Street, Harrisburg. Online at harrisburgpapawn.com. Hey, honey, how are the taxes going? Pretty good. Let's see. We either get $800 back or we owe four grand. Hmm. I think we should call H&R Block. Let's face it. Taxes can be confusing and the laws seem to change every year. Let the professionals at your local H&R Block take the worry out of your tax season. H&R Block in Dillsburg, Newville, Biglerville, Fairfield, and Gettysburg have been owned by the same family for over 50 years. And they've been there for every tax law change along the way. Don't leave money on the table. File your taxes confidently with H&R Block. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. Steph, would you call yourself a spontaneous person? Um, you know, in some ways I'd like to say yes, but for the most part I'm very routine oriented and I like to do things, like I like to have a plan for what's going on. But in the right situation, if I'm just with friends and they're like, let's go do this. It's like, okay, why not? There's nothing else going on. But right. I like to have plans for the most part. Um, Guys, this wasn't in our daily planner to go here. I mean, I don't. I don't mean to be a stickler, but um, we were supposed to be here from 5 to 8, and it's now 7.15, and you want to leave, and I'm just saying that maybe we should stick to the plan. (laughs) Yeah, that's kind of me. A new survey finds the average person, there's no way this is you. There's no way. New survey finds the average person will act spontaneously 18 times per day. Oh, my gosh. You wild people. And the study found that those uh, who considered themselves a spontaneous person were 40% more likely to consider themselves a happy person. Not only that, they were also 38% more likely to feel content and satisfied with their lives. So, Steph, maybe you'd be happier if you threw that planner away. No, actually, it's it's literally always with me. It's right here. And I will never, ever stop using it. Like, I don't know what you reckless and chaotic people are doing out there, but I, I couldn't 18 times a day. I don't I don't understand how you could even have time to do like it's got to be little tiny things, right? Like at the last second, you decide to wear the black shoes instead of the brown ones. Right. You know what I mean? It, it can't be doing 18 separate things that take you on a different path. It's good. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. It must be like little decisions. Like, well, I was gonna hang out at the pool until three o'clock, but I'm, you know, I'm kind of hungry. I'll go back at two. Like, it has to be little things. Yeah, tiny. yeah. But uh, if you, if you had to say how many spontaneous decisions you make in a day, do you think it's even close to eighteen? No, there might be a few, but they're very small things. And, like, and, and every day, and I get that every day is different too. Right. Like you just, you said you went to the water park this past weekend. So maybe you were going to ride the blue or go on the blue thing and you got up there and you're like, oh, it's too packed. And then all of a sudden you make the decision to go ride the yellow water slide or something. Right. 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 Those little things, probably a couple times a day. But for the most part, I like know what I'm doing in the day. Like, okay, I'm going to get up and I'm going to run and then I'm going to drink a glass of water and then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to eat a salad for lunch. Like, I need that structure. So uh, how far does that planner go out? 
Do you um, what, what's what's your what is your longest plan? This planner only goes till December, so it's not too long until I'm going to need to get a 2021 planner. I like I prefer to get planners that are like a year and a half ahead of time, but this one only till December. Do you have anything in December written down? Um, I think please, just like my mom's birthday. Oh, please, I was going to say, please don't tell me you have your own birthday written in the planner. <laughs> Actually, I don't. There it is, December 28th, and it's not there. I have a friend of mine who, uh, believe it or not, is having a kid, and the due date's December 28th. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so there you go. That really has nothing to do with anything. Let's move on to Stump Steph. About 60% of the time, when we start one of these, we don't finish it. What is it? 60% of the time when we start... A puzzle! Nope. It's a good answer, though. But I wonder if that's higher. We still have an unfinished puzzle in our kitchen, the wife and I. You do? We've worked on <laughs> I it. I think we've worked on it twice in, like, four months. You're making progress. There you go. When we start one, we don't finish it. Oh, an argument. That's outside of the box thinking. No, not right. Wasn't that rather spontaneous of me? <laughs> I don't think you know what that word means. <laughs> but, but it was like, no. it was different. Like, it's not. Okay, never mind. No, no, um, <laughs> no, 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 no. Something you start but don't finish. Training for a marathon. 60% of us are training for marathon or don't finish our marathon training? No. Oh, a diet. Another good one. That might, number might be higher. Uh, no. I feel like these are good answers and they're not right. Quality answers. Something you start. Okay, is it something that's good for you? I mean, yeah, sure. Is it something you do with other people? No, not really. You do it by yourself? Yeah. Oh, watching a Netflix series. No. Binging a show. No. Okay, that's another good answer, though. Yeah. I'm Jeez. actually not. I'm actually not shocked that you haven't gotten it. People are screaming. I guarantee at their phones right now, because to a lot of people, this is obvious. Not shocking. It's not obvious to you. Let me give you a hint. It wouldn't be obvious to me either. Oh, a promise you made to somebody. You you think you and I both break our promises? No, I'm saying we don't break our promises. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't know how to take that. I was like, she called me kind of a jerk. No, no, no. I I thought you meant like we wouldn't think of it because we always keep our promises. No. When we start one of these, we don't finish it. What is it? Is it food? No. I finished my food. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> how dare you? How, oh, dare, is it getting it? <laughs> how dare you? I'm still mad. All right, keep going. I'm sorry to insult you. Um, is it, ooh, is it um, getting a tattoo? No. Because sometimes people get like the outline and then they have to wait to get more done. I restarted oh. the music because I thought you were going to get it, but then you didn't. So here we go. Sorry. Can you give me another hint? <laughs> it's a thing. So it's not like keep promises. It's not like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing you can hold. Ooh, training a dog. No. No. A thing you can... So it's something that you're working on. I mean, not really working. You start it, but you don't finish it. This is really hard. It's not that hard. You should have gotten it by now. Is it obvious? I think it is. But again, I, I understand why you're not really into this. So I understand why you're not thinking of it right away okay it's not food or a drink or netflix something you start but don't finish i is it a pro home project no like building a deck <laughs> <laughs> no no it's a thing it's a thing you can hold in your hand you can't hold a deck in your hand Something you can hold in your hand that you don't finish what are you doing to it when you say you're starting i can't what tell you, you to give it away is it like knitting a sweater? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think it's time. I think it's time. It's time. A book. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Duh. What an idiot. <laughs> no, I don't think you're an idiot. You just don't read. That's not one of your hobbies. It's not one of mine either. I'd probably would have a hard time. I think I would have gotten it eventually. 
Um, but some of your answers were pretty amazing. I'll tell you that much. Building a deck. <laughs> Keeping your promises. I was really, really close. Okay. Last one. Do better. This one's I think I think this one's harder. We'll see. We'll see. Great. You Great. do that. You do this thing though. According to a recent survey, 65% of us who begin doing this never complete it. 65 oh, no. doing this never complete. This is something you do. You you both complete it and you don't complete it. Oh, I do both. Yeah. Most people is, do both. Is it good for you? Um I, I can't I, I can't answer that it doesn't I don't think so. I, I don't it isn't it isn't it's it depends on your situation oh and are any of the things that I said in my previous guesses correct no, like no 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 <laughs> just get that out of the way no no it's not building a deck <laughs> all right I won't guess that can you please say the question again in a recent survey, 65% of us who begin doing this never complete it. What is it? And it's not like starting a project or reading a book or anything like that. It's something completely different. We begin doing this and never finish it. My mind's going back to like a diet or like knitting a sweater. Think, like think, thing about, thing. think about what you like to do. It's something that you usually do on your phone. That's a good hint. Oh. You don't complete it. Is it a game? Like playing no. an app or something? Nope. nope. It's not playing an app, but it can be done on an app. Another good hint. Oh. Is it a social media thing? No. Start doing this, but don't finish it. Oh, do you do, you do it? I. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm guilty. Oh, so it's something you're guilty of. Well, so it's not. It's not. It's not a bad thing. It's just I'm guilty of this. Yes. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I have no idea. Oh man, Steph, you were doing so well. So many days in a row. I know that was all we had. We knew it had to come down at some point. Um. Is there give another you, hint? I'm gonna give you one more hint. Um. I say you do it on your phone. You usually use an app to do it. You can also. I mean, you don't have to. You can do it on your laptop as well. Um, oh, is it setting up like an investment fund? No, but you're getting closer. Ooh. It involves m it involves money. Oh, is it is it so? It's something on a banking app. No. What do you do with your phone and an app that uses money? Oh, Venmo. No, you Venmo somebody money, no. but you don't act, you don't finish it. No, no, no. Amazon. Oh, you put something in your cart and you don't buy it. Boom. There we go. She said Amazon. I knew you were there. Ordering something online, putting it in your cart, and never hitting order. Oh my gosh. All the time. So guilty. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we'll try to do better tomorrow. That was a little rough. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what, what are you sorry about? It's fine. All right, guys. We will see you on Thursday's podcast. It's the Puffin Steph Podcast.